So I think that that social media has taken a trend that's actually centuries or even thousands of years in the making to a new extreme. So I was asking this question years ago as I was, you know, raising two my first two children in suburbia. And I was asking, like, what happened to the kids playing outside? What happened to the, the, the kingdom of childhood? The answer was pretty obvious. You know, as I walked, I would go for a walk, you know, and there's a blue glow emanating from every living room. And this was 1998, 1999, you know, before the Internet, really. But, but everybody was in front of their TV. And then they would get into the car and haul their kids off to karate lessons, you know, or, or something else. So I asked, well, why? Why are we so separate? And I connected the separation from each other, the dissolving of community, where, the, where you don't need your neighbors anymore. You don't depend on them for anything because you are self-sufficient to the extent that you have enough money, to the extent that you have a job. You are dependent only on distant institutions mediated by technology and mediated by markets. I connected this form of separation to other expressions of separation, the separation of human beings from nature, where life migrates more and more into the indoors, the separation of ourselves from our own bodies, the dissolution of extended families, the uh, relation of domination in politics, in foreign affairs, in medicine, uh, all of these things are expressions of what I call the defining mythology of civilization, which is the story of separation, which says that who you are is a separate individual in a world of other. Humans are fundamentally separate from nature as well, and that our destiny is to rise above nature, to dominate nature, to become the lords and masters, the lords and possessors of nature, as Descartes put it. You know, how does this express itself in, in economy, in the money system, in um, education, in medicine, in parenting, in religion, even in science, in politics, in all of these dimensions of human activity? How did it begin? You know, like to your question, was it some bad idea. And I, I, so I went back into history and mapped the, the co-evolution of our conceptual separation from nature with the development of technology, fire, tools, uh, domestication, machines. You know, each, each one of these inventions distancing us one step further from the rest of nature. There's no simple answer to that. There's no quick fix that, you know, that we're going to, you know, ban AI or ban TikTok or something like that. And, you know, everything is going to be better again. The problem is fundamental. And the really these crises that are converging upon us are a kind of initiation, an opportunity to transcend that story of separation and inhabit a new story.